All right, for the record, today's date is April 20th, the year 2009. The time is 2.45 p.m. To speak at Detective Dennis Harris of the Homicide Unit and also present Detective Robert Kenny. The young man being interviewed here this afternoon is Mr. Philip. Would you pronounce and spell your last name, please? Markoff, M-A-R-K-O-F. Let me tell you that. There have been some incidents that okay. do match your description. Um, tell me this. Have you ever been to some of the hotels downtown Boston in the past week or so? Not in the past week. Okay, in the, before the past week, maybe two weeks, three weeks. You tell me when well, was Well, my last dad week? was, my dad and his wife were in Boston, maybe in February, and they stayed at a hotel. Okay, and what hotel was that? I don't remember. It was one of the ones near Prudential Center. Yeah, Prudential Center. Is that the last time, Philip, that you were at a hotel? I believe. All right. Is there, could you have been there, like, recently and just don't recall it? Or? I could have, like, walked through the lobby. Okay, do you have a memory of doing that recently? I don't have a memory of it off the top of my head. Um, uh, if you think for a second, is there a possibility that maybe you did do something like that? Walk through the lobby? Yeah. Maybe, I don't remember. What would cause you, as a medical student from BU, to walk through a lobby? Well, the Prudential Center isn't connected to all the hotels. Yeah. So that's to go from, like, walk through the Prudential Center. Well, do you have, do you have, what, what brings you to the Prudential Center, if you don't mind? I've been there a handful of times. Yeah, is it just, like, coffee or shopping, or what brings you down there? All those reasons. Yeah, all of those. Um, but no one, lo no one hotel jumps at, out at you as far as... Not really. You know the unit you're in now? Did you see the sign when you walked in the door? No. It says the homicide unit, and I introduced myself as a homicide detective. So that tells you okay. at least something, something that we're talking some serious stuff here, okay? Um, so I was just maybe hoping that you had some explanation. Say, if I gave you a date of um, a couple of weeks ago, if you were to tell me there's a reason why you were there and the person in the photograph was deemed to be you, then maybe you'd have a logical explanation for being in that area. But you don't seem to call to mind. Uh, well, I went out to eat at the Cheesecake Factory in the last, maybe a couple weeks ago. Which is right there. Do you yeah. remember Do you remember the day that might have been? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember the and day. I, and I understand, because sometimes I don't even know that you know what day of the week it is, what day it is now. But as far as the you know going out to a restaurant, people might say, well, I like it there on Wednesday nights because they have a good special uh, do you happen to remember? No, I don't, I don't go out to eat much. And I went right. out with Megan and a couple of friends. And right. we go shopping there sometimes at the Prudential Center. All right. When you say, was that a couple of weeks ago? I don't remember when it was. There's a couple of different locations in the last few weeks, a couple of different hotels, with this image and likeliness. Tall, white guy, good-looking kid, same color hair, same frame, same structure um, as yourself uh, in some of these photographs. And, uh, you know, just as far as justifying why you're there, uh, um, we're looking for some help so we can, you know, move forward. But you can't bring to mind any specific... Like, are you familiar with, they say, the Westin Hotel? Do Which one, the Westin? West yeah, the Westin. I think I've heard of that. I think my brother stayed there. Okay. Do you know when he may have stayed there? Oh, it was, it was a while ago. Maybe a year ago or so. Was there any reason or anything at all to cause you to have been there in the last couple of weeks? I mean, maybe if I was walking through it. Yeah. Well, well can you call something to mind, Philip? What would have brought you in here to walk through it? I mean, I, you know I'm, not, I'm not sure. You can place remember. the Westin. Can you picture the Westin now? Can you picture where it is? You know, the strategic it's it's when, like, it's next to the Prudential Center, isn't it? Yes. Well, if you're looking at the Prudential Center and the cheesecake, say if you walked up Huntington Ave on the outside, the left, the cheesecake is on the left-hand side, and then moving forward straight inbound, the Westin would be up on your right-hand side. Can you picture it? I guess. It sounds familiar. Yeah. I think it connects to the Prudential Center. Yeah, well, this is... Because I, I, I think when my brother was staying there, I walked back and forth. I think it's a connection. Over the footbridge? I guess. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really remember. Yeah. yeah, but you have no clear memory of being there in the last couple of weeks. I don't, I don't remember. No. No clear memory. Is there any reason for me to be, like, scared to go home with this person? Uh, might be outside. At, at this time, we're gonna make some decisions. We're gonna, we're gonna actually, we don't know what's going on outside this room, so we're gonna. Like I, I just. Hey, do you have any reason to fear him? No, not at all. But I'm just. Are you? You're worrying me. Well, I can see this is a very <laughs> serious business, and you know we don't mean to worry you. We don't yeah. mean to alarm you in any way. It's okay, I'm, I, no, I'm just wondering if if he's one of two or one of you know thirty. Well, all, all I know is, 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 you know, just following an investigation logically the way that we do, you know, an online internet date 
so to speak, or, or appointment was made from a computer in your apartment mm -hmm. at the same time that an individual that resembles your fiancé shows up at the hotel where the crime occurred. Okay, it was at the hotel mm -hmm. where the crime occurred.